Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Miller, and a very special welcome to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Portia Simpson Miller is about to exit the political stage after over 40 years of service. Mrs. Simpson Miller rose through the ranks of the People's National Party to become its president and to make history at the first and so far only woman to become Prime Minister of Jamaica. But what's her legacy? Speaking with us this evening in studio, we have attorney at law and commentator Daniel Archer. We also have with us our opposition Senator Lambert Brown and political commentator Nadine Spence. First though, let's go back to Parliament yesterday where members of Parliament and Senators across the political divide paid tribute to Mrs. Simpson Miller. We must never believe that governments will act automatically in defense of the poor. And you have been the voice that has kept the government, government focused on policies and programs that are beneficial to the poor. And I have studied you in that regard, I've observed how you have operated, and I am saying to you on your retirement that you don't have to worry. There is a new defender of the poor people of the As Minister of Labor, your charismatic style diffused tensions that could have crippled the country on the labor front. As Minister of Social Security, you ensure that not only the poor, but the vulnerable were attended to. As Minister of Local Government coming out of that system, yourself, I'll never forget, sitting on that side during the budget debates, when you stood up then against your, your own colleagues in defense of the fire service. As Minister of Sports, you were the chief cheerleader of all the teams. And as Minister of Tourism, you exemplify the Jamaican hospitable spirit. Two few women of humble upbringing have succeeded in overcoming the many social, economic, and political obstacles to attain the ultimate in political leadership. To see the dreams, as she has stated, the dreams of a young girl from Woodhall, St. Catherine, so clearly realized, is a powerful source of inspiration for women locally and regionally from which they can draw, and one which we must celebrate for each and every young girl who takes and builds her hope and understanding of what commitment to service and hard work can bring. Mrs. Simpson Miller has traveled a tremendous political journey, serving our country as we have heard for more than 40 years at different levels of the political realm, vehemently challenging all biases predicated on a political culture steeped in masculine traditions. You can be assured, Portia, that you have earned a special niche as one of the most enduringly popular leaders in modern Jamaican. And you are guaranteed a secure place in the history of modern Jamaica. On a personal note, I served in her cabinet after challenging her for the leadership of the party. And I would like to place on record that not only did she entrust me with perhaps the most critical portfolio of finance, but that she gave unfailing support to all the measures that were required to take Jamaica from a difficult Mr. Speaker, 
It is said that achievement will prove to be a journey and not a destination. Achievers are producers. They understand the world will not recognize things for what they could have done, should have done, or would have done. Rather, recognition is experienced by proving what you can do by doing it. Portia did it. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the words of Dr. Martin Luther King come ringing in my ears when he said, and I quote, everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. Does that sound like Portia? I should say, Sister P. Mr. Speaker, it has been said that the service we render to others is really the rent we pay for our room on this earth. Yes. It is obvious that man is himself a traveler, that the purpose of this world is not to have and to hold, but to give and serve. There can be no other meaning. Portia has given and she has served. Mr. Speaker, she moved up in a male-dominated vocation. She moved from the bottom to the top, and in so doing caused other women in the society to follow suit. In fact, in fact, at one time, you'll recall, we had a female speaker, a female president of the Senate, and several female ambassadors. I have no doubt that Portia was a trailblazer in this regard. Mr. Speaker, when she entered this house in 1977, there were only five female parliamentarians, including herself. And now on the eve of her departure, we have 11 impressive female pal 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 parliamentarians. My fellow Jamaicans, this is it. This is where my political story, which began over 40 years ago, ends. My heart filled with gratitude to you, the people of Jamaica, who gave me the privilege to serve at the highest level. As I have said so many times, it was an honor of a lifetime. I will miss the cut and thrust of politics, but most of all, I will miss interacting every day with the Jamaican people, especially the children. You have given me so much, and I am proud of all that we have achieved together. For as long as I live, wherever I go, whatever I do, my heart will always be with you. Thank you, thank you, I love you. God bless you, God bless you. Now, we, will of, we should, of course, also point out that former finance minister, former transport minister, long-serving member of parliament, Dr. Omar Davies, is also leaving parliament at the same time as Mrs. Simpson Miller. On an upcoming edition of All Angles, we'll take a look at the political legacy of Dr. Omar Davies. On this program, however, we're concentrating on Mrs. Simpson Miller, who went into her constituency to hear what members of the public there had to say. Well, Portia means a lot, and she's a good role model for woman, as you can see, because, and I like that she come from Cherry Garden and them big community there, is a ghetto girl, and I hear she in the thing, you see me? So you don't know, Portia means a lot to us, in a back to you, her garden, when she ever come and she make no fairy of look at it, and so I like them, everything she try, because some people never did want to go down, and so because they don't worry about gunshot, they don't know a garrison you know. So she try her best, see them, and give her the bathroom, them front of her house, so we can come out and go the sun. you see me? So Portia mean a whole leap, not a lot, a whole leap, she deserve a whole leap, yo. It not stop right as so for she. She's one of the outstanding person, and she's very interesting, and she's very, very loving. And we're going to miss her a lot. And I hope her the best in life. And we will continue her upliftment with the new member of parliament who's going to take part here next. So we're going to do our best so that he can do the best like she also. You know, so he's a very nice woman. And she always loves us. And she deal with the whole Jamaica in our all. She loves Jamaican people them. And she's very, very, very uplifted, you know. Portia give her house to live in, we're paying light bill. She take care of her consequences. Tell me some other things that she has done for you guys. She give her work, 
she send the children them go back to school. We have evening class. We have parents class where we learn how kids. Pusha nice to we down here. Pusha do a lot. One time when the people them get wall rough, walk a look people who pay a light bill. No, we have pay a light bill. No share up now. Yeah. Start the thing now. Yeah, I left school from here 14. I couldn't read and write. I sent GS, CSJP, yeah. JLF, I can't sign up for me. Mash up art. Yeah. Big up yourself, Pusha. Yeah. A whole heap of things. I get no work around here now. But I get a whole heap of things different. I can't read and write now. Yeah. Yeah. Her main work that she did that has embedded in our arts, that is education. She has never refused from assisting education. And she has she have assisted so many persons, so many people throughout the years to achieve uni tertiary education from the basic school level. So you must know even if a little fixing needed to be done, education for her was priority. She made that her priority every day because you know, sometimes she would walk through the community and she would see some little young children. She would say, well, you can be the next prime minister, you know. So she's a motivation to us. I know this lady from 1971. And this lady, when I know her, she would be like, she feel from, is she me slim? She's slim on me. And I just love her. Till now. And she born with something named leadership. When enough people who are in the party right now don't have that leadership. You know when somebody born with that leadership that you suppose supposed to seem similar. None of them can do a role right now. Right now I am threatening who going to come here. 